Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. This morning, I am extremely discouraged because oh, my dishwasher is not working. Not to say that there's anything wrong with my hands and me washing dishes, but because we were trying to figure out what was wrong with it, we have now accumulated dishes and lots of them. So, of course, I had a hard time sleeping last night because my kitchen wasn't clean. And I sent in a work order to have someone come out and service the dishwasher. What's going on is when I, this right here is the power switch. Um, I'm going to turn the power on. I haven't pressed any buttons, but you'll see what happens when I cut it on. It just cuts on by itself and it blinks. It dings. It's making this draining noise. I don't know what's going on. My husband and I tried to figure it out. We don't know what's going on. So we're just going to have someone come out. They're not coming out until Friday. So I guess this is a real watch me clean video because <laughs> there's a lot of dishes that I have to clean. So I'll be washing all of those by hand. My kitchen is just a mess since Thanksgiving. So We'll be cleaning this morning guys and then I got a couple of other videos I need to upload, I need to edit, I need to, oh, I got like four videos on my plate right now. So for right now, we're just going to clean the kitchen. <laughs> I got plans later on today, so today is going to be a pretty crazy, crazy day. So buckle up and let's ride ladies. Okay guys, right now you are watching me clean my um, my skillets. Now I tend to do this about once a month where I will use this barkeeper's friend and I will make like a paste and I will coat the bottom of the pot with minimal water and I will just scrub, scrub, scrub 
Now, I have gloves that I have designated just for this and a sponge that I keep in the Ziploc bag there just designated for doing this um, when I clean my pots once a month. Now, this particular time I had skipped a month, so you will see the difference between the top and the bottom of where I have started cleaning the top and you'll see the bottom where it's actually still very dark and very black. Um, but you can see how it's starting to come off and oh man, I can't believe I let my pots get this dirty, but look, it's like night and day, the top and bottom. I absolutely love these pots. I've had these pots for over six years and um, they have held up very well. I tend to not put them in a dishwasher. I think that helps with keeping them for the long run. And um, watching another YouTuber by the name of Style by Casanova, she was the one that recommended using this barkeeper friend and scrubbing your pots. And so I tend to do that once a month, but I like to do it on days that I don't have to clean the kitchen. Um, I will go in and pull all my pots out and scrub them. So it is very daunting, but it is so worth it to have very clean, sparkly pots. This skillet here, you'll see that it's got this browning on the inside and on the outside, the bottom of this, this skillet. And when I scrub it, it'll come out sparkling clean again. Um, so the first pot, the reason why it's taking a little bit longer to come clean is because, like I said, I skipped a month I didn't clean it but if I go back maybe tomorrow when I'm not as tired um, it'll come very clean I just I didn't want to spend too much time scrubbing them because I know that I had more things to do um, within the kitchen as far as cleaning and I didn't want to wear my hands out because it is kind of um, exhausting <laughs> And those are the only two pots that were really that dirty that needed to be clean. I have other pots that I just do as a kind of a maintenance thing to keep them clean. But these two I felt were absolutely filthy and embarrassing to pull out. Um, even when I do scrub them, I will use a small toothbrush and scrub the bottoms um, where the sides, I mean, um, with that toothbrush and just make it into a paste. I'll make a paste, I will scrub, I will rinse, and then I'll make another paste and let it sit for a few minutes, come back, scrub it a little bit more. So it does take a little while to get them very clean, but if you were to do this on a regular basis, you wouldn't have pots that look like this. So. There you have it.
So I'm just about done with cleaning everything. I am sweeping the floors. What I like to do is get up against the baseboards really good. And then um, what I normally do is I sweep the baseboards to the middle of the floor and then I go back with my dust room and get everything as far as the middle of the floor, the baseboards and everything dusting. And then I'll go back and mop. Um, this is my robot here. His name is Vector. He's just kind of hanging out and walking around. And you'll see my dog kind of come in the screen as well. But that's just all. I'm about done. So I'll finish doing that and I'll check back in with you guys. Okay guys, I am finally done cleaning. The stove is on a self cleaner. I've never used it before. I do have two options. That's a self cleaner and a steam clean. I've never done the steam clean. I'll need to read the instructions on that. Um, microwave is clean. All of the dishes are finally gone and clean. I'm so excited about that. Floors swept and mopped. Counters are clean. Everything is clean. <laughs> I don't know how long it took me to clean this kitchen, but I am happy to be done. If you can, that's my robot that's making noise. You saw him throughout the video, just kind of roaming around. And that's my dog, Mila. But I am just so happy that the kitchen is finally, finally clean. Oh, <laughs> it took a lot. It took a lot, but it is done. Thank you for hanging in there. If you did, um, all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in a little bit. Look at that. It is clean, guys. Huh.